similar solids. Two solids are similar if they have the same shape, for example, these are cylinders, and the ratios of their corresponding dimensions are equal. So not all cylinders will be similar. You could imagine I could draw one that was really oddly shaped like that. It's definitely not the same shape as this. Some shapes are always similar, so any cube is always going to be similar to any other cube, and the same for spheres. Just a little aside there, I thought I'd mention that. So these cylinders are similar because the ratio of their sides are equal. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 divided by 1 is 2, and they're the same shape. Now, their relationship between the side lengths will be given by k, which is, of course, the length scale factor. And that is length on the copy divided by length over the original. Their area scale factor is k squared. So the area of these circles would scale to k squared. And you can get that either by finding k and squaring it or by taking area on copy divided by the matching area on the original. So there's two ways of finding k squared. You could find k and square it, or you could do the area on the copy divided by area on the original. And the volume scale factor is the third one we need to learn. And no prizes for guessing, this is k cubed. And again, you can find it in two different ways. You can do a volume on the of the copy divided by the volume of the original, or you can just find the length scale factor and cube it. So the types of questions we might get, two cubes are similar such that, this is just describing the cubes, the larger one's dimensions are four times those of the smaller one. If there's no diagram, I would honestly suggest trying to sketch that out. Now, you'll notice they don't actually say what those lengths are. They've said the larger one's dimensions are four times those of the smaller one. That means k is four because if this is four times longer than that, you could imagine this would be four to one, or it could be eight to two. We don't know what it is, but I know this is four times bigger, so I know my scale factor is four. How many times larger is the larger cube's volume? This is asking for the volume scale factor, k cubed. k cubed, will be 4 cubed. Quite welcome to get your calculator out to work out 4 cubed. It's 64. It was a word question. You would say, therefore, the larger cube's volume is 64 times larger than the smaller cube's volume. And you could have done this for this sort of description, just four times larger. You could have done this for our standard look at similar shapes. So in these cylinders, I could find out how much larger this volume is. This is twice the size of that. If I was finding for this one, k, copy over original, 
2 over 1 is 2. K is 2, so K cubed, the volume ratio will be 2 cubed, which is 8. That means this volume is 8 times the volume of the smaller one. If I told you the volume of the smaller one, you could then just multiply it by 8 to get the volume of the bigger one. We'll do some examples of those in a later video.